Hi, welcome to a new video. This time I take you on a day trip to Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands. If you want to see more city traveler videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Amsterdam has occupied a special position within the Netherlands since the second half of the 16th century. The Netherlands is a small spot on the map, but with Amsterdam, a visit is well worth it. Dam Square The dam is a square in the center of Amsterdam. It is the historical heart of the city and the location of many events of national significance. At and on Dam Square are the Royal Palace and the Neve Kerk. Anne Frank House The Anne Frank House is a museum located at Westermarkt 20 in Amsterdam in memory of Anne Frank and her Jewish family who were in hiding during World War II. The museum is built around their hiding address, the secret annexe at Prinsengracht 263, where Anne Frank wrote her famous diary. The Vondelpark Vondelpark is an elongated city park in Amsterdam, dating back to 1865. The park is located in the district of Amsterdam Zuid, on the border with the district of Amsterdam West. It stretches from the Stadhoderskade to the Amstelvenesweg. This park is a great place to unwind. Beheinhof, Amsterdam Unwind at the Beginage during your day out in Amsterdam. This Hofje, whose history goes back to the 14th century, is a must-see during your visit to Amsterdam. The Beheinhof in Amsterdam is the only courtyard founded in medieval Amsterdam located within the single. The Sacred Heart statue at the courtyard dates from 1920, created by Johannes Petrus Maas. Beginages are rare in the Netherlands. The courtyard in Amsterdam is almost one meter lower than the rest of the inner city, at medieval street level. It is unclear when the Beginage was founded. Originally, the Beheinhof was completely enclosed by water, with the only access being a small gate at the courtyard. Food Hallen, Amsterdam Taste the best Amsterdam has to offer, with over 20 different cuisines ranging from Michelin award-winning concepts to delicious international street food. The Food Hallen is an absolute foodie hotspot, definitely a fun place to visit. Nine Streets, Amsterdam the Nine Streets, also called the Negenstraatjes, is a shopping area in Amsterdam city center. The streets connect Prinsengracht, Keitersgracht, Herengracht, and Singel. In the 1990s, a number of entrepreneurs decided to promote the Nine Straatjes as a common shopping area, as a counterpart to the Jordan. The Jordan. Go through the nine streets to the Jordan. The Jordan is a district in the city center of Amsterdam, known for its beautiful houses, nice restaurants and original shops. When in Amsterdam, it's a must to stroll through the little streets and canals. On the many bridges over the canals, you can take beautiful pictures. The Adam Tower A fun thing to do in Amsterdam is to visit the Adam Tower. This tower has a panoramic bar and restaurant on the 20th floor. They also have a revolving restaurant on the 19th floor. Madame Tussauds, Amsterdam Another fun activity in Amsterdam is the Madame Tussauds. This activity is near the Dam. Madame Tussauds is a wax museum where you can spot celebrities from all over the world, full size. Do book tickets in advance as this is a busy activity. The Kalverstraat The Kalverstraat is the longest shopping street in Amsterdam, from big brands like H&M, Zara, Urban Outfitters, to small boutiques, everything can be found here. For the real shop fans, a fantastic place. The Kalverstraat is a shopping street with about 150 stores. It is a pedestrian area. On the Kalverstraat, there are many national monuments, including the former civil orphanage, now the Amsterdam Museum, the H. H. Petrus and Paulus Church, the Papegei, Vishuspoort. 
if you are an art lover and are visiting Amsterdam. Don't forget to go to Museum Plain. Here you have Rijksmuseum and the Van Gogh Museum. The Rijksmuseum The Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam is one of the 16 national museums in the Netherlands. Its collection offers an overview of Dutch art and history including works by 17th century Dutch masters such as Rembrandt, Vermeer and Hals. The Van Gogh Museum So, besides the Rijksmuseum, you have the Van Gogh Museum, also one of the Amsterdam's busiest museums. Van Gogh was a Dutch painter, so the museum is dedicated to him. PC Hofstraat Amsterdam For shopaholics with a big budget, there is the PC Hofstraat, but even if you have a lesser budget, it is definitely a must to take a look here. In this street, there are all kinds of expensive stores. On the parking lots in this street, you can see the expensive cars as standing. The PC Hofstraat is close to Von del Park and therefore easy to combine. After a nice day in Amsterdam, still have time left. Near Amsterdam, you also have the Artis Zoo. Artis is the oldest zoo in Amsterdam and it's located in the heart. Plan a visit to this fun zoo, definitely a nice recommendation. Pathé Amsterdam Do you enjoy going to the cinema? And do you still have time left in the evening, for example? Then the Royal Theatre Tuchinsky, also called Pathé Tuchinsky, is definitely a must. Tuchinsky is a six-screen cinema located on Regulierzbreestad in Amsterdam. It is one of the Pathé's 30 cinemas in Netherlands. In 2021, Time Out proclaimed it the most beautiful cinema in the world. Ajax Stadium Are you a fan of soccer and enjoy seeing stadiums? Ajax is one of the top teams in Netherlands. Try to get a ticket to a fun match and taste the atmosphere. Or what is also a possibility is a stadium tour. Here you see the stadium inside, the dressing rooms and the field. All in all, a fun outing. Tulip Fields Amsterdam and Netherlands is of course known for its tulips. Are you a fan of nature and flowers? Then the tulip fields just outside of Amsterdam are definitely worth a visit. The best time to visit these tulip fields is mid-April to May. Then the tulips are in bloom and a visit is definitely worth it. In Blumenpark, Kuchenkopf, most of the blooming tulips can be found in the indoor flower displays. In the outdoor gardens, you will see mostly crocuses and daffodils in bloom and perhaps some early tulips. Zanse Schanz Zanse Schanz is a freely accessible commuting area, Eino, 1850. Although visitors from all over the world visit this area every day, it is a good to know that people still live there. Do keep this in mind during your stay and visit. Stroll past the bakery museums, enjoy the smell of fresh cakes, or take a look inside the warehouses where wooden shoes are made. There are several mills on the Zanzeschans as well as a cheese factory and a tinsmith's foundry. The Zanzeschans is a unique village in the Netherlands with wooden houses, mills, barns and workshops located in the countryside. You can take a bike walk or boat tour when you visit the Zanzeschans. As you've seen, Amsterdam is a place with several attractions and activities to do. Definitely a nice recommendation for a city trip so. I hope you found out more about how best to spend a day in Amsterdam. Will you leave in the comments what other city trips we should feature? Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.